You know, it never ceases to amaze me the lengths for which one will go to act as though they are somehow above the law. And I'm speaking directly in relation to the Milwaukee uh, riots that we had last night, which, as they're being reported, were in relation to the shooting of a 23-year-old man who, his name escapes me at the moment, but I do remember the mayor uh, saying that he raised a firearm to the police officers, and, you know, that might be true, it might not be true, but I'm not going to go off of uh, just my own opinion on that, because my facts are not complete. I don't know the entirety of the circumstances surrounding this case and, you know, what is fully known. All I know is that we had a number of, uh, I'm presuming African Americans get upset with the passing of one of their own, which, you know, I, I can understand that, but I think uh, a number of them, especially the in particular, the ones that went out and committed these crimes, uh, you know, of violence, fail to understand that when you protest, when you, you know, picket, boycott, whatever, they are supposed to be nonviolent to show civil disobedience. You know, it's, it's just, it's so bizarre to me how you can take what might be a reputable cause, such as um, protesting what appears to be, to, in your view anyway, the, um, I guess, unfair, for lack of a better term, death of an African-American individual, and used as an excuse to commit crimes. You know, a lot of them uh, have this view, and it's a valid one in some cases, that the, the lives of these uh, African-Americans are being stolen and taken and just removed from life by these officers and again in a few cases that's been the case but the problem is you have some radicals uh, such as the Baton Rouge and Dallas shooters who will take that to such an extent that they will go out and commit you know acts of violence to go against violence as if that makes any sense uh, and, you know, this was a much lower level, and I'm certainly not trying to say they're all capable of doing that, but the point that I'm trying to convey is you have people who use the excuse of being enraged about a particular issue and just taking it to another level. It's like if I came to work late one day and I said, oh, well, my, uh, my foot hurts. And I just, you know, I just say my foot hurts every time you ask me why I come home, um, why I come to work late. My foot hurts. That's I'm just going to use this one thing that might be true as the excuse for why I do something that's completely unrelated. And it's it's the case here. And, you know, I, I'd, I'd love to sit up here and talk for 10 minutes about how bad these people are and all of that. But again, I don't know the full circumstances. So I'll just I'll, I'll break it down this way. For the protesters who went out there and conducted themselves in a reputable manner to where they did, they were not committing acts of crime and were just being, I guess you could say, normal protesters and that they weren't, you know, just doing anything that was against the law, bravo. Um, even if I might disagree with the, you know, com continued uh, just... I don't want to say ignorance, but I guess selective outrage on the part of ignoring all of the deaths of blacks in Chicago and sort of pretending as if the disenfranchised blacks over there, uh, you know, don't exist when in fact they do and deserve as much attention, if not more, considering the number of deaths over there is much higher. But, you know, again, that's their choice to ignore that. And, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take what I can get as far as them acknowledging uh, what might be the death of someone who didn't deserve to die. And I'm not saying anyone deserves to die, but someone who put themselves in a situation where maybe they weren't, you know, they, there was still a way out. Uh, although what the mayor says makes it unlikely, but again, we'll find out more as time goes along. Now, I, I cannot say, give the same praise to uh, the protesters who decided to turn violent, because there's there's nothing to praise about using your fist for something that can be resolved with your hand.
you know, it's the pen is mightier than the sword applies here. I just I don't see where they get the idea that any of what they did last night that was violent uh, contributed to their cause in a productive manner. In fact, I just think it really ruins the image that people already have of uh, a good number of African Americans for acting in a way that is just very irresponsible, in my view. Um, but again, that's that's my opinion. We'll find out more. Um, I'm glad that it, it wasn't the worst thing that could ever happen. You know, we didn't have some large number of deaths or anyone getting killed for something of this nature, apart from the individual whose death started, obviously. Um, but it, it kind of at least shows me maybe there's some self-control there for those um, that, you know, committed these um, these acts of violence. But, you know, it, it's still not enough, and we need to keep working at it, and that's what I hope we continue to do. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.